G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Saturday the 15th of September 2018 and the time here is 0900 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well folks, I uh, don't usually do a video on Saturday, uh, but because I haven't done videos for a while, I thought I'd better do one. Just kind of do a weekly news wrap up on uh, current events here in Australia. <laughs> And around the world, obviously. Um, hopefully try and reach that one extra person and hopefully wake them up. Um, okay, let's get to it. Okay, folks, well, this is Greg Hunter's new weekly news wrap-up um, for this week. If you can, I would suggest that you watch this video. Um, it's very informative. And the reason why I'm saying watch this video <clears throat> is because there's been a couple of things that happened uh, in the Trump campaign this week and, you know, in consecutive weeks in regards to these executive orders that he keeps pumping out, which you're, you're not going to hear about on the mainstream media. And, and indeed, you just don't hear about it at all unless you hear, unless you watch Greg Hunter um, and a couple of the other uh, news outlets, for want of a better term. Um, look, those these executive orders that Trump's putting out, as Greg says in this this interview, uh, in this weekly news wrap up, um, they're very pointed and very directed in their statement and uh, the points they're trying to bring up. And you all need to pay attention to the last two that he's brought up. Uh, that, that Trump has actually signed off into uh, executive orders. And Greg goes through that. Um, if you haven't and you, you're not aware of those, they're a red flag for all of us who are awake. There is no doubt that they are bringing in military tribunals. Um, did you know, for example, that there is a grand jury that has been subpoenaed in Washington and he's actually doing court, a court case at the moment that is really hush-hush, that no one's even talking about. That's why the mainstream media is freaking out. Um, Greg mentions it in his interview with um, Dave Jander uh, this week that he did the interview on Monday, or well, early Sunday release. That's very telling, folks, because no one, no one is mentioning that at all. Absolutely no one. So, uh, you know, watch this space. That court case is actually just honking along on its own. They're actually subpoenaing people and getting people in to do interviews, you know, in court. But you're not hearing anything about it. So watch this space. If you missed the interview, the the very pointed <clears throat> uh, Graham Ainsley, Ainsley um, during the Kavanaugh uh, interrogation, for want of a better term, listen to his uh, very pointed remarks as regards to how is it possible to have a military tribunal working in an existing system? Well, man, you know, if that wasn't a red flag for everybody, then I don't know what was. Because he openly stated that there is going to be military tribunals. So, it, look, this is coming. Um, how the problem is is when, is when. Now you've got to got to imagine that if the people are doing their job properly, then. They are not going to do anything, anything, until they've dotted the I's and crossed the T's. And that's not like a five-minute exercise, folks. That takes ages. You know, there's paperwork to get involved. There'd be, you know, there's all these subpoenas, you know, indictments. They're obviously, like I said before, they're not going to use every single one of those. They're going to, they only want about a quarter of the people that they're actually trying to get. The rest are just cannon fodder 
and information gathering. So we're getting down to the wire and I, I, I was speaking to Stroppy Me last night and I said, I, if you want my honest opinion, I think four weeks out from the November primaries or whatever the elections are in America, Trump's going to drop the hammer. But I think in my mind, the way this is going to work out is, is if you look at what's going on in the Justice Department in America, they'll get to the point where more of this information is going to be coming out and they're just going to go, enough. Trump's going to do an executive order suspending the, dust, the current Department of Justice and um, revert to military tribunals. And the reason for that is the corruption is so bad that they're just going to have no, no other way but to do that. Now, the problem is, how do you, how do you um, portray that to the public as not being a military coup or a military takeover? Um, that's the problem. They've probably had ample opportunity now to do this, but they're probably sitting back going, well, geez, you know, this ain't going to be easy. How, you know, look, take California, for example, and New York. They're as blue as blue. So no matter how you portray this to happen, it's not going to go down too well. So the, the object would be, you know, no one believes Trump. So who, who are you going to push in front of the people to say, this is what's been going on, this is what's happening, and this is how we're going to fix it. As of today, the, the Justice Department, the FBI, the CIA no longer exist in their current format. Just imagine that, because this is where this is going. All these people in the FBI, as of today, you're on suspended. So you, you just say everybody's suspended. Department of Justice, the rot's so bad, we now we can't fix it. And I think this is where they're going with this. They're just going to say, we can't fix this, folks. You need to understand that the corruption is so bad, we can't fix it. So the only way to fix it is to cut it, amputate it, before we get, you know, terminal blood poisoning. So... Just keep that in mind as you're doing your preparations because, like I said, when this does happen, it's going to send shockwaves. Absolute shockwaves. You can imagine even if we're awake, we're going to be going, wow, you know, poor, that's pretty big. <clears throat> On the periphery of all that, you have a financial disaster beckoning. So it's not so much about who's got the biggest balls and, you know, who's peeing on whose ground, etc. with this either. There's only one way this can go. And it's the same process. Sorry, folks, we tried. The rot's so bad, we can't fix it. Um, as of tomorrow, uh, this old American dollar that you've got is being changed to this one. Just imagine that. Now, before they do that, they will they will break every single country in the world. The more I think about it, the more I think that this is what they're going to do. They're going to break every single country in the world fiscally and then because the American dollar is a reserve currency, they're just going to turn around and go, there you go, you can use this one now. And I wouldn't mind betting that they've actually got the, had the printing presses going hot trot, hot to trot with this new currency. There is no other way out of this. Just, just so you're aware, there is no other way out of this. All of us, are going to pay the piper. Now, 
I can show you trading economics. I can show you anything you want. And there is still people out there that are just going to go, ah, well, it's never going to happen, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's true. To a certain extent. But there's no point in me showing you that at the moment because I've shown you everything I can do so far to make you understand that we are going to pay the piper. You know, the Indonesian rupee continues to fall. The Turkish lira is continuing to fall, even though they jumped up their interest rates from 16% to 24 in one day. The Argentine, the Argentine um, peso, I think it is, is now at 60% interest rate. Uh, Venezuela, forget it. Uh, India is now having problems, massive problems with their currency. And in, it, India is a, a really good example of what's wrong. Because remember, India is India's like been buying gold second only to Russia and China, or third if you want. In some people's minds, they've actually been buying more than Russia. So the, the point here is you, you can actually have as much gold as you want. But if you're having to use that money or that current you, to that form of fiscal enterprise to prop up your currency, then what good is it to you? My point here being that the Americans are going to try and break everybody before they fail. So they'll bring everyone back down to zero. <clears throat> and then they'll go pop. So China, India, Russia, uh, Germany, anybody who's got any gold is going to have to back their currency with that, with that, with the gold that they have to try and stop themselves from going bust. China's currency at the moment is is imploding and they are chucking literally trillions of dollars at it to keep it propped up. Their debt is no better than the Americans. And in actual fact, we don't even know how bad it is because the bubble is so big in China that the the, the obvious problem is, is that when you get to a certain level, the only way you can keep your economy going is to just lie and just print and print and print and print, which is happening in China. They are in, you know, when this all, all implodes, there is a fair chance that the Chinese government, for want of a better term, will, you know, the people are literally going to turn on them. regardless of how much gold they got. You know, as you say, you can't eat gold. So the, it, it's all coming down a two-lane highway that's going into a one-lane highway. But unfortunately, somebody forgot to put in a merge sign and they put in a 100-kilometre speed limit sign at the end. So people are doing 100 Ks and they're all trying to get into the same spot. And bang. That's where this is heading. Now, as regards to your preparations, don't go crazy. Just keep methodically ticking along, looking at stuff that you can buy. You know, do you have an axe? Do you have a sledgehammer? Do you have uh, saws? Do you have food? You know, do yourself a list and just keep pumping out, ticking off that list. Remember, you're not going to be able to prepare for everything. So just prepare to what you can. 
but just buy the essentials at the moment if you have if you're just starting then just buy the essentials and then just go on gumtree you know don't go buying top dollar stuff it's not worth it if you can afford it yeah do it but if you can't find secondary ways to to find the items that you need simple as that all right folks let's do the prayers okay folks verse of the day imitating christ humility therefore if you have any encouragement from being united with with christ if any comfort from his love if any common sharing in the spirit if any tenderness and compassion then make joy complete by being like-minded having the same love being one in spirit and of one mind pretty good okay folks the lord's prayer our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for and ever and ever amen all right, folks, I'll leave it there. Go prep out.